Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Cricut project. So today we are going to be jumping right into the Cricut Access Library to make a little fall decor for 2022 because I'm setting a new table, need a new centerpiece, and that means Cricut because girl doesn't want to go buy anything. So I grabbed a cute acorn um, design library file and we are going to be making a few three-dimensional acorns today with some iron on, craft board, and smart sticker cardstock, and my Cricut Maker 3. You can make this with a Cricut Maker, Explorer 2, or even a Joy if you substitute that smart sticker cardstock for a regular cardstock and a sticker machine or double-sided tape, anything to make that cardstock sticky, but the smart sticker cardstock is so much easier to use. So we're going to make a few pink and rose gold acorns and a few champagne and gold. They turn out really cute. So if you want to check it out, let's get started. All right, y'all. Once we open Cricut Design Space, we'll start by going up to My Projects. I find that the easiest way to get to the Cricut Access Library. Then we'll type in 3D Acorn because that's what we're making. And we will search in all categories. Project should come up first because that is literally in the name. Perfect. And we're going to hit customize. I have another project open, so I just hit replace. So here's our little project. It is three layers. So you have the acorn top or the hat, as I keep calling it, the body and the back, which is a cream layer. So cream, brown, and green. Now, if I just go ahead and I click make it on this project, as you'll see once I figure out this top layer, come on, there we go. All right, if we hit make it, you will notice that our top layer, that green layer for sticker paper, we can't make. It's a smart material and with scoring turned on, we can't do it off a mat. We have to use a mat. So we're just going to go through, we're going to select every single brown layer, and we're going to click that little eyeball icon to visibly turn off the score line attached to that middle brown layer. This will turn off scoring for all of those items so that we can cut that middle layer out of our pink smart sticker cardstock. Now, if you're just using regular cardstock and a and an adhesive, you can leave that score line on. Now make sure your Maker 3 is selected, and now we can cut without a mat. So we're gonna select multiple ways. That first layer is now without a mat, so there's no score line. And the second and third layer, as you can see, without a mat is blacked out because we're scoring, so without a mat isn't an option. Go ahead and hit go. And so we're going to reselect that first layer, the brown one, since that one is without a mat and we're using our Maker 3, it is automatically going to give us those smart materials. But if they don't pop up, you can browse for them. And we are going to select Smart Paper Sticker Cardstock. We're going to set it to more pressure and it is going to tell us to insert it into our machine. Now, when you're using smart materials, this baby cuts fast, like super fast. I cut it with a mat first and it didn't work and it cut so slow. And then when I took the mat off, took the scoring lines off, recut it without the mat, the way smart material is meant to be cut, it cuts so quickly. So, you know, I tried to do it, tried to use those score lines. It just doesn't work without the backing. That's all right. We're going to go ahead now and we're going to, for the second layer, layer two, the cream layer, we're going to browse for craft board. So craft board is a harder material. It's on a mat and we can use our scoring wheel for that one. So it's going to automatically come up. We're going to set it to more and it's going to tell us to use that number two scoring wheel. So that is what we'll do. Okay, y'all, so I actually switched from the sticker card stock to this craft board for the back white layer. I wanted to avoid having to use glue or double stick tape or anything like that, but I think trying to do the four back layers together with sticker card stock will just get very sticky. So I'm going to use craft board. We'll put our 
sticker cardstock and our adhesive foil on it and then we'll be able to glue the four inside layers together. So since the craft, craft board is much thicker than the sticker cardstock or the adhesive foil, it's telling me I need my double scoring wheel. So I just wanted to show you real quick. You just pop off the bottom and then load on the double. And now we can score our Cricut craft board. And it will have a double score line instead of a single one, which will help with the thicker material. And you don't have to remember any of that. Literally, I will put it on the screen, but the Cricut Design Space app tells you, hey, switch from one to two. So you just literally follow the instructions the machine gives you. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna score it, and then we will cut it. I am going to set pressure to more instead of default. I do that for all score lines. I find that it just works better. Um, but you know, experiment on your own, do it, do what you think is right. I like more pressure. All right, let's go ahead and it's gonna score this baby and then we'll cut. There we go. So you won't be able to see it here. I'll try to get a close up for you once we take these babies off the cutting mat. But um, the double cutting wheel, scoring wheel, sorry, has two little lines instead of one. So it just gives you a better fold. Perfect, so now it is telling me we need our fine point blade. Go ahead and let that go. And I'm gonna switch this back to the single because the adhesive foil layer is next and I know we'll need the single scoring wheel for that. So in case you're confused, these guys you can see they're straight on the sides here. So it only fits on here two ways. If you don't have it lined up, it won't go on. But once it goes on, it will rotate around that center axis in order to work. Don't think we needed more pressure for this cutting. It is cutting that craft board really well. <laughs> That's okay. They'll be easy to pop off that mat. Honestly, we could have fit. I thought we were going to need two sheets of this because the um, the pink acorns were bigger with the tops. We could have probably cut two more rows of acorns here because I think I'm going to make four total. But that's okay. We can always just adjust it and cut out of the bottom half. Easy enough. So now if I flip this over, they should really all pop, pop right out. Acorn. Well, you remember when you're using cardstock, paper, craft board, anything that might curl, you always want to curl your cutting mat away from your material and not your material away from your cutting mat. Otherwise, you'll curl your material. So we can definitely get another two acorns out. So I'm going to save that. We'll do that in a minute. But here's your close up. So you can see how there's two cutting lines right there or scoring lines. So I'm not going to do it because I still have to put the stickers on. But there you go. Doop, 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 doop. Let's pick all these babies up. They look like little beanies. That's kind of funny. Tell you what else they look like but this is a family channel all right so now we're going to go ahead and cut out our um oh we're doing iron on i thought i was doing adhesive foil we're going to cut out our iron on and do that last layer always fun i think i liked the sheen of this iron on better
Okay, so as usual, there's always a different, you know, different item, different thing for different things. So this iron-on actually said I needed to use the scoring stylus instead of the scoring wheel. So this loads into clamp A. You literally just put it in and then you push it down until it clicks. And there's a little arrow on the front. So the arrow will see it above it when you push it down and it clicks, the arrow is gone. So did that for the iron on. And with the more setting, it was too much. Oh, hey guys. So you can see that it literally perforated and dragged. And that might end up looking okay because it's just that middle line. But like that's not scored, that's sliced. So I went ahead, cut it again with the scoring stylus instead of set to more pressure, I set it to less pressure and it worked much better. These lines are much cleaner. So we're gonna use this set instead of this set. And like I said, I think I'm gonna make eight. So we may pull these off and try them just to not waste material and see how they look. But I'm not 100% sure if that line, since that's gonna be in the scored crack, if that will make a huge difference or not. I still want these to look nice. So we are now have all our pieces. We have our little acorn bases. These are easy cut from the craft stock. This is that back layer. We have our iron on and we have our middle layer which is sticker paper so we're gonna go ahead this here iron on needs to be weeded and the sticker paper it technically needs to be weeded because it's sticker paper though I find it usually just kind of like weeds itself when you pull it off. Oh, I'm messing that up. Okay. I don't think the sticker paper cut all the way through. So I'm going to have to set that to more and do it again. Killing it. I'm sorry, y'all. I have been sick for the last week. So typically this doesn't have that many problems, but I'm going to start by weeding this while I recut the acorns and we'll go on from there. Okay, that's what you want, that sticker card stock. And then as you can see, those bottom pieces start to come off. The problem is that um, in order to use the scoring wheel, you have to be on a mat. But in order to cut this smart sticker card stock, you have to be off the mat. So I went ahead, I left the score lines off, and we're going to see if having the score lines on the bottom layer and the top layer, I should still be able to fold this middle layer without the score lines, but let's see. So I did weed everything here except for the back layer. So this should be the fun part. I love weeding iron on. It's so much easier than vinyl. It just weeds like fun. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and snap that. Come over here and snap this side, and then do 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 do. Just weed it off. It's like magic. Problem is just these little itty bitty passageways. Want to snap? All our little acorn hats. <laughs> See, this is fun. This is the fun of cricket right here. I find it fun. Acorn hats, acorn hats. So top layer, 
bottom layer, middle layer. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and weed off the excess of this guy after I cut off the bottom, because we may be able to use that bottom portion for something. Haha, <laughs> so this is still unused. We can still put this in our machine and use it for something else. Then this guy, we are actually going to go ahead and we are going to reverse weed the background. So I'm going to pull off the whole background, leaving just the acorns. And normally I wouldn't worry about this. I would just take off my sticker, put it where I want to put it. But since our top layer is iron on, we need to need to do that. And we're gonna see if maybe this will make it easier. It might not. We're gonna see. All right, acorns sticker. I love this sticker card stock. It is so nice to not have to put glue on the back. I don't know why. Just is. So here's the question. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I got an answer. All right, I'm gonna turn on my my mini easy press all the way up to the third level there. So we are going to iron on our hats. And again, you could use sticker card stock for this layer. You could use adhesive foil. I only had the party pink adhesive foil. I just didn't like the color variation with this smart sticker cardstock. I liked this iron on color. This is the rose gold. So we are going to go ahead, line them up. Sorry, you're probably looking at my head, aren't you? Yep. And we will iron these babies on one at a time right on this backing and then we'll peel them up as a whole layer. All right, so. Go ahead and get y'all in here closer. Now my desk has plexiglass on it, so I'm going to iron on right on the desk. But if you need to protect your surface, make sure to put down a Cricut heat mat first to protect your work surface. I find that when doing iron on on sticker paper, a hard surface helps it adhere better. So I'm gonna go ahead. The little guy is heated up and we are going to put this guy on. And you just wanna be careful not to get off that clear backing. So for the most part, I'm just using the tip and this is hot. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. The tip here. And I'm just going over it. Perfect. You will start to see the edges cool up. It is hot, but I'm just pressing it down. And then we should be able to Let me get my, uh, no, I'm going to use the brayer. Brayer. There we go. Push it down. Let's see. There we go. Dun, da, da, da. And he is totally stuck on there. Iron on on sticker paper. So... You can see here, if you wait for cool down 
and then remove the top part, you get less of this crinkly kind of texture. But for the most part, easy peasy. Now I kind of just leave this on if I need to protect it. But we're just gonna go to the next one. So I've got one, two, three, four acorn hats. And now, four acorns wearing hats. So we've got our second and third layers put together. So now we're gonna have to put our second layer on our first layer. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and score, fold everything on the score lines. So these little guys, they should bend in half right on those score lines. I'm just gonna kind of fold them over, make sure they're matching. And then I like to run a something hard along the side to really enforce that crease. So let's do that real quick with all of these. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually gonna cut these apart. Remember, we don't have a score line on our acorns. So we're going to see, we're gonna try it with one here. We can't get these babies to, to fold before we take them off and put them on here. We do have a score line on the hat, so we'll follow that. And this is the tricky part because we need to be able to see the, the lines. So I'm gonna actually peel this back just a little so that we can see the edges. Match them up. And then you're just gonna press down, make that score line. Perfect. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and take this baby off, and we can, no reason we can't. Make sure we've got all these little guys cut out. And they're sticky, so they will stick to your whatever. I use my finger easier than weeding most of the time. step on your finger. Imagine that. <sighs> we don't want all the sticky to be gone from our actual cardstock, just the just these things. And now we're going to pair these up. I'll match those lines. Perfect. Stick it down, stick it down. It's starting to take shape. And there is one side of our acorn. they're fully bonded. Now we do have sticky still on the top. This is sticker paper because the cream only goes up to the base of the acorn hat. So now we can, you know, reinforce that this is a quarter of our acorn. We'll have four of them. And we will just put some glue dots or double stick tape. We'll see what I have, hot glue. When we put them together, we'll have four. So one down. Seven to go? Yeah. Gonna put it this way so we don't 
compromise the sticky. Okay, so I did try just peeling this off like a sticker, bonding it with the brayer flat, and then folding it as one piece. And it did work, but it didn't work as well as folding this first. It did crease a little bit on the side. So fold this first and then bond them. Seems to be working best, but definitely taking a minute. So all right, we've got one, two, three, four done, which is enough for one whole acorn. So now we're going to go ahead and I think we're gonna just try some double stick tape for the bottom and see if that's enough. If that's not, we can always add glue dots or I can even run them through my sticker machine. But for now, double-sided tape would be the easiest. We're gonna try that first. All right, so we're gonna start with a couple strips double-sided tape. Literally just down the side. And it can go onto this top part that's already sticky. That doesn't matter. And then we'll just trim the bottom here because we don't want it off the back. And then I am going to put one, it might be too much, down the middle here. Make sure we've got a good bond, kind of everywhere. We want this acorn to look like it's all one seamless piece as much as possible. One acorn, not four acorn sides. All right, so go ahead and try to put the first two sides together. And I'm just lining them up here on the acorn hat. because That's where the most curves are. And then we'll squeeze them together. Perfect. Make sure we get all the way to the very tippy top. Now, I think that's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good bond. Do wish we could have used the white sticker paper because then they'd be 100% bonded. I did some mermaid stir sticks with the sticker paper stuck together like this. They worked perfect. So definitely 10 out of 10 recommend the sticker paper for these multi-layered crafts because I did I did a, a baby mobile for over the bed out of metallic craft board craft stock like this white craft stock years ago I'll link to all this down below and I did I think three layers of each card stock craft board whatever it was and it did look cute from a distance. Um, and, you know, baby doesn't care. But when you got up close to the pieces, there was very definite different edges all around. It did not look like one seamless piece. It was still pretty. I still liked it. I still gave it to my friend who really liked it. It was little moons and stars and it's very cute. But as far as, you know, craftsmanship goes, I feel like it could have been better. Speaking of, this is supposed to have four sides, but three sides are kind of fitting nice. Maybe three is better than four. 
I could make more of them if I only did three sides. No, they'll be, I mean, they'll be more. I don't know. If I put this guy in here, you'll see more of, well, we'll be able to tell. Here we go. If we open it up, you'll see this. If I do three, you see more of that, which I kind of like better. I think we're gonna do three. Oops, we gotta, we gotta line it up a little better. Oh, that sticker card stuck, y'all. It is sticker. No, I think four is better. Why don't we just change our mind a bunch of times? That's the best. All right, let's line that up. Make sure we've got a good bond. Go all the way down the side. Lining that up, and now we have to line up the top hats. There we go. Bond all the edges really good. It's like a little dreidel. Maybe that's why I keep singing the dreidel song while I make it. And the reason I decided on four sides is I think it will help hide the creases better. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's a little pink and rose gold acorn. And now I'm going to go ahead and make three more and some leaves. So there is a leaf template that looks the same patterns, the same design, but they're one dimensional. So I will be back in a minute. I will show you the whole shebang. And then I'm going to actually use them on my Thanksgiving table this year or fall table, I guess. So um, if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to that too. Be right back. All right, so we ended up with two of the pink acorns with the rose gold tops. One of this like champagne gold color with the rose gold top. I do have enough to make a second one of the champagne with the rose gold top, but I ended up deciding for my centerpiece that I liked a few of the flat versions. So I left them uh, flat and uh, I may make them into an acorn. I may not. We'll see for the next project. But for this project, I left them flat and then I made four of the coordinating leaves that was so pretty. I did. I ran out of the pink sticker cardstock. And so for the second set, I used this gold shimmer cardstock instead. It worked perfectly. It's just not sticker paper. I did find that the sticker paper was like 85 bajillion times easier to work with than the cardstock. A, because it's sticky, but B, because it's just a little thinner weight than the cardstock, so it's much easier to fold without that score line. The score line being on the heavier pieces really makes a huge difference. And I did put the score line on this. I was able to since it's not the smart material, but this middle part is just so thin. So once you, once you glue all the layers together, you can see like this does fold a lot easier than the sticker card stock, but uh, the sticker card stock was just so much easier without having to put adhesive on the back. So I started by trying double stick tape. I used some adhesive rolls, um, but what ended up working is I had to break out my big sticker machine, just run them through and then they become stickers that you can put together. If I was gonna put this together, I would run them through again, make the backs of these sticky, and then put them together like so. So it's an added step if you have a sticker machine. If you don't, I put one together with this and one together with this, the sides for this one, and they were just hot mess express. So sticker paper, sticker machine, is the way to go when, when you're layering cardstock like this. But for the most part, I loved it and I loved the Smart Sticker cardstock. It makes such a big difference. You can see the difference in the tops here though. For this one, 
this is the first one I did versus when I ran this one through the sticker machine. So I hope you guys liked this project. If you want to see how I arranged everything in my centerpiece for my fall table, I will link that below. It's going to go live um, on Friday. So this is going live on Monday. The fall centerpieces are going live on Friday. So stay tuned and I will link it below just as soon as it's live. But in the meantime, go check out everybody else in this fall hop. Um, I have, I want to say four or five other really fun friends with fall projects. I'll put a couple of their pictures up on the screen here. So if you want more fall before Friday, when my fall table comes out, go check them out and I will see you on Friday. Bye.